show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, it's, an it's another fortnight and another fortnight of hard work, I would say, for the channels. Yes. And we are back again. We're here. Hello. Exactly. Number 11. We've got a while till triple figures, but we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we made double. That's good for now. Yes. Exactly right. Yeah. Well, anyway, how are you? How's TBG? TBG is okay. Yeah. Mm. He, uh, he is carrying on as, as per... Um, yeah. yeah, three Nothing. three a week as as intended. Thankfully, that is still holding up. Um, I'm kind of looking ahead to holiday, although it's in about eight weeks. I'm just oh, okay. conscious of trying to get myself ahead so that content uh, happens while I'm away because I'm away for two weeks. Yeah. So, so you want it, stuff? Do you want stuff already uploaded and scheduled, ready for the really? The yeah. Two weeks, Ideally, yeah. I, I, if I remember while I'm on holiday, I might publicise the fact that there are videos online on Twitter and Facebook. But okay, I would like at least for the videos to already be there, scheduled in, so that they just arrive. Yeah. Because I'll be too busy drinking beer. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol-free beer, of course. No. 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 <laughs> Alcohol-free beer if you're 17 or under. <laughs> Which, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, where are you going for your holiday anyway? Uh, we're going to Zanti. Oh, that sounds all right. Yeah, with our own private pool. Oh, yeah. lovely. Basically, when everything all went blah with the house, we thought, screw this. We're going to book ourselves a really nice holiday and look forward to that. So, finally, it's on its way. That sounds damn perfect, Indeed, actually. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. Yeah. Well, enjoy yourself. I'll be... When is that? Um, middle of middle to end of June, running okay. into July. Oh, uh, OK. That's where I'll be at home with work picking up terribly. Yeah, probably. Yeah, That'll be that just about be... as Christmas hits, won't it? Yeah, just about as Christmas hits. Cool. I'll be working mainly in my job role on my own for that time. Oh, of course you will. Yes, you'll be left yeah. to your own devices by then. Indeed. But <laughs> we all like a challenge, so yeah. Yes. While I'm tearing my hair out, you'll be tearing the lid off a beer, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good job that you have sense. your own little projects to distract you from... Indeed, that yeah. That wonderful might, life. <laughs> yeah, I might have some more little projects. I'm not entirely sure because obviously I don't know if you saw um, this morning put up a poll saying should I have a branch channel for TV and film related videos. I didn't see that. No. Ah, yeah. Well, that's a poll. Oh, okay. Feel free to vote will, on it. Will that poll still be in existence when this video goes live? Uh, it stops the same time the video goes live. Oh, okay. So anyone, but, um, list anyone listening to this, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'll just try to edit. Polls can't be edited after they've something oh, received so votes. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can't extend it. No. Well, this is out. If you're listening to it, half past five on a Sunday. Uh, the poll stops at six o'clock on Sunday. Oh, okay. So there might be a little yeah. bit of a crossover. Yeah. For those really it's, uh, keen people. Exactly. Currently 10 votes, 70-30% um, swing to, yes, we'd love to see it. Mm. So, yeah, it, I, I've always thought about it. Like, obviously, where you do a crossover on your channel of wrestling and gaming. Yes. I, I've been thinking about doing, but it would be a branch channel, so I'd make up, like, a dummy email and everything and have a second channel mm -hmm. and just call it, like, Pokepidge TV film or something along those lines and just talk about stuff like, you know, Walking Dead... Uh, Game of Thrones, Marvel, just anything that's current huh, okay. around the time. It might not be as active as uh, Pokey Pitch, but yeah, or even as extensive. You know, like a, if it's a Game of Thrones weekly review or anything, it might be a very quick summary. Oh, okay, but yeah, yeah, like a five still, minute uh, thing or something. Yeah, still okay. in two minds about it myself. I just wanted to see because obviously it will take a hell of a lot more editing if I start doing that properly. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see how the vote goes. If it's a massive swing to say yes, I'll probably do it. But if it's 
sort of 60 40 or less in favor of that like you know I'll I'll so if it's a, I'll have a if it's as close as Brexit yeah you, then you I'll, won't bother or you or bother. you'll take two and a half years to decide how yes. to do it and then still not do it I'll let everyone know on Halloween <laughs> in yeah, 2023 no, <laughs> Yeah, it was. Yeah, so it's it's just something I've I've felt like doing, but also logistically, you know, trying to get the clips and pictures of films and stuff that's only just been shown and all of that. You know, like if it was a Game of Thrones thing, mm. trying to find screenshots and what have you to make it rather than just me talking to a camera without much music apart from the theme tune in the background on repeat. You know, trying to make it actually a little bit entertaining. It's uh, there's a lot of thought going into it. Mm, nice, but if it like I say, if it's unanimous, then great. If it's not unanimous, then I might not bother well, if just it's, yet. If it's 70-30 at the moment, it won't be unanimous. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll share it again a couple of times. But Cool. But, yeah, so, um, you know, that's for when I get mega successful with YouTube and get of tens course. of thousands of followers and I have time to do it as a living. Yeah, <laughs> and you can hire an editor to do all yeah. that awful exactly side for you. But, yeah... Yeah, and then apart from regular uploads, that's been my week, so there we go. Hmm. Stuck to the schedule. Nice. Three Master Trainer series episodes, so we're all on we're all on track. We're all on track, nice. Yeah, all on track. And of course this today for Sunday, which is today. De- yep. Yes. Yeah. Definitely today. <laughs> One yeah, the logistic day thing. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, uh, yeah, did you want to kick off proceedings? Yeah, I can do, yeah. Yeah, go for it. I um, yeah. yeah it's, I, it's worth saying to the viewers we don't often know what the other's going to talk about, so it's <laughs> no. In fact, this this time I think I gave you one clue, didn't I? Say the word consoles to you. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah, and that's all I know. That's all you know. Well, to be honest, until this morning, that was all I knew as well. Oh, outside enough, of yeah. a loose concept, basically, I have five different consoles here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of two truths and a lie. Oh, okay. So if we were focusing for argument's sake, anyone that's not aware of the concept, if I were to pitch to you three things to do with the Pokemon world, I could say uh, the voice of Detective Pikachu in the upcoming film is Ryan Reynolds. The two games coming up at the end of the year are called Sword and Spear. And Ash's hometown is Pallet Town. Right. Okay. Two of those are true. One of them isn't. Which one isn't? Uh, do I get fifty-fifty? Oh no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's it's B uh, yes. or two or whatever you want to call yes. it. Yeah. In that example, yes. Yes, it's so, it's sword and shield. Yeah. And there's many memes about having a third one called gun. So. Yes. Well done, Spain, <laughs> for actually doing. Lo- well, not just them, but for yeah. actually publishing that in their proper news websites and papers and everything. Spain and China do a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Pokemon wise. Anyway, sorry. (laughs) So yes, the five um, consoles that I've picked out, it's kind of pretty much at random. I have uh, the PlayStation 1 and 2. Lovely. The Game Boy. Okay. The first Xbox. Ooh. And the Nintendo Switch. Oh, lovely. So, pick one, basically. (laughs) Yeah, you pick one, and we'll do them in the order that you select them at. Oh, okay. Um, I'm so... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Let's go PS1 and 2 first. Okay, so we'll do the PS1 first. Oh, right. They're set right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I've got three things for each console. Okay, PS1. So PS1 first. My three things are... One... It was initially developed as an add-on with Nintendo for the SNES. Right. Two, it was the first CD-based console. Or three, the best-selling game on this console was Gran Turismo. Oh. (laughs) Oh, I think it... Oh, I'm just trying to think now. I think it was the first CD-based one. I think so. I'm trying to remember if Dreamcast was CD based now, <laughs> and if it came first. Haha. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the I thing think, as well. I think Dreamcast was slightly after PS One. I'm trying to remember by school. Oh, I, I don't know actually. 
Oh, um, anyway, right, I'm too hung up on Dreamcast now. <laughs> I think Gran Turismo was the... No, was it? And then the first one you said it was something The first else. one initially developed as an add-on with Nintendo for ah, the SNES. Right, yeah. I think that one's true. Okay, so you're ruling that one out. Yeah, which is obviously... <laughs> 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 like the, yeah, hangman's noose there. Um... <laughs> I'm going to say um, uh, Gran Turismo best-selling was false. Um, I'm going to kick myself for it. Okay. Would you dare to hazard a guess as to what the best-selling game was if it wasn't Gran Turismo? Um, Lemmings. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would guess... I would guess... I don't know. No, um, Crash Bandicoot. Okay. One. That's what I'd guess. Well, I can tell you the best-selling game was Gran Turismo. Oh. And God. it was indeed initially developed as an add-on with Nintendo for the SNES. And yeah. Nintendo oh. basically scrapped that idea because Sony wanted too much control over it. <laughs> I must admit, I didn't know that 100%, but that did definitely yeah. ring a bell the second you said it, which is always a tell. Ah, always handy. Yeah, and so, yeah, Sony basically took what they'd started developing and went well, we'll just make our own one then. Screw you, yeah. Nintendo. But <laughs> yes, now technically, it was sort of the first CD-based console, however, there was a Sega CD add-on for the Mega Drive and Genesis uh, okay. that came out beforehand, which had different series of games and kind of its own running system so yeah. technically it wasn't the first cd based console right okay okay well i've learned something there there we go uh so playstation 2 yes ps2 i like this game it's good <laughs> <laughs> uh thing the one it was the first console to allow for backwards compatibility uh okay to an older version of its console yeah um it 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 is sorry the best selling console of all time. Yeah. And third, the final game for the PlayStation Two was released in twenty fourteen. Okay. I uh, I'm pretty sure the first one was true. Again, I had a tell when you said it. I, there was something in my head that went, "Yeah, that's true." Right, second one, best-selling console of all time. Mm -hmm. That one I'm sceptical about. Do, is that um, handheld or household or e or any? Um, it is all. All. Oh, okay. Yes. Because I think the Game Boy would no. Because there's something that tells me the PS2 was. PS2 or Game Boy. I'm gonna Google it after. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the third one. The back, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the backwards compatibility was fine. Like the first one, I'm sure that was correct. Mm -hmm. uh, option C. I forgot what option C was. No. Option was C. The... the final game for the PlayStation Two was released in 2014. Oh, that was it. Yeah, I am going to say that's false because I think they. Oh well. Do you mean like new game? Yeah, brand new right, game okay. developed for that particular console. Okay. Was I'm released in that's... 2014. I'm going to say that's false. Okay. Because I, I think they stopped making games in 2014. Or something like that. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. I can tell you you are incorrect again, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> the final game was released in 2014. Not, oh, wow. okay. It wasn't just for the PlayStation 2. I'm sure they released it on the PlayStation 3 as well. But there were a couple in 2013. But the final one was Pro Evolution Soccer 14. Oh, was that still a PS2? That was still for the PS2, yeah, according, Jesus. according to my research. I forgot and that was still a thing. Do it, people still play that? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I'm sure they would have developed it for the PlayStation 3 as well, and yeah. I can't believe there was that much of a crossover for all those years, because oh. the PlayStation 3 was around in about 2006. Yeah. So, but there we go. And in it is still the best-selling console of all time, with okay. over 155 million units sold worldwide. Okay, then. Um, but in terms of backwards compatibility, yeah. I've got you on a technicality again, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> there was, uh, for the Game Gear, 
there was an yeah. adapter called the Master Gear, which right, okay. allowed for backwards compatibility of old uh, cartridges uh, to work on a handheld device of the Game Gear. Oh, okay. Right. So technically, it wasn't the first one. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Okay. Looking oh, at yeah. the other three, there's no more technicalities. You okay. just happen to pick the two awkward ones. I'm, on just, I'm just looking at the best. Yeah, I'm just looking at the best-selling consoles of all time. It's PS2, 157 point something. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna oh, tell you okay. Point. And then it's DS, which I'm really annoyed I didn't say because I thought that was up there, ah. which is 154 million. Close, yeah. And then then Game Boy Third at 118. I knew there was one of the Nintendos was a high yeah. up one. Ah, mm. oh, I'm annoyed I didn't Close say that. Too. Never mind. Anyway, right, get well, off, I'll tell you what. Get off the well, internet, otherwise you'll be cheating. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's go Xbox One. I don't know much about Xbox, so no, I'm probably get this one right. I don't, to be honest. I'm not going to have too much to say on this. This was just the yeah. research that I came across. Right. Thing one, it's the first console to have an inbuilt hard drive save system. Okay. Its original name was Direct X Box. Right. Okay. And third. It was Microsoft's first ever involvement with the home console system. Okay. I believe they would have had some involvement at some point. And DirectX, I know, is obviously a thing for computers. Mm -hmm. Direct Xbox. But why would that mean anything to do with a game? It's just a word. And then the first one were the hard drive. I'm going to go with the, the with A, with the hard drive. What, you're saying that it wasn't the first console to have an inbuilt hard drive oh, save right. system. Don't oh, no, forget, two of these things are correct. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I've got it wrong way around now. Yeah. Two of I'm these things, the only, one is, oh, only okay. one is incorrect. I'm picking the false thing, it, which is... Di I'm going Direct Xbox as false. So you don't which... think its original name was Direct Xbox? No. Okay. Well, it was. <laughs> okay, damn. <laughs> uh, it was the first console to have an inbuilt hard drive for save systems. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't their first complete involvement with the home console. They did work with Sega to port Windows into Dreamcast. So although okay. they didn't develop one themselves, they kind of worked closely with Sega right, okay. for uh, features of the Dreamcast. Okay. Well, fair enough. I've learned something on Xbox. Mm -hmm. That's but direct text isn't a uh, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> a direct text I think was uh, an operating system. Yeah. Um, so and presumably you... oh. it's a version of the operating system that they had in it, and they just thought actually it doesn't sound very good, and yeah. the X at the beginning and end kind of works for a. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah. Yeah, oh well, I'm not an Xbox fan anyway. No, so neither am I, never have been. No. So right, we've well, got I'll go, Game on, Boy or Switch left. Uh, I'm going to go Game Boy next. Game Boy, okay. Yeah. Right. Game Boy, Game Boy then Switch. Fact. End on the specialist, which I'll get one of <laughs> Fact one, it was the first console to sell over 100 million copies worldwide. Right, okay. Tetris was the only launch title for it in Japan, North America, and the uh, in Europe. Okay. So basically what I mean by that is there were other launch titles maybe in Japan that weren't available in North America or Europe, but Tetris okay. was the only one that was available in all three places at launch. Okay. And the last thing... Um, Kind of spin off versions of this include the Pocket and Light. Oh. I remember Game Boy Pocket, I think. Or I might just be thinking of my micro Game Boy that I've got, <laughs> which is. <laughs> I'm gonna say, oh no, but I. I don't know, I haven't heard the Tetris one before, if that is true. Which would be nice if it was, because that's a nice fact to know. Uh, I think it was the first thing to sell over 100 million copies, because it was huge. Mm. I'm going to say there was more available to the Western world than Tetris. 
Okay, you've got one correct, sir. Yeah, good. In, I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> in fact, Tetris wasn't actually available for launch when it launched in Japan. Oh, right. Oh, wow. It was okay. available in North America and Europe, but not Japan. There were three games that were available in all three regions, and they are Super Mario Land, yep. Alleyway, right, okay. and a game just called Baseball. Yeah, I, yeah, I know of base. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's very old. Yes. So yeah. there we go. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding. Yeah. He knows Nintendo stuff. Four. Who would have thought it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I knew the game, the selling the hundred million copies thing. Even before I know, I've looked at Google things, mm. <laughs> but even before that. By the fact that I said I think Game Boy might be to be on it, yeah. I mean, you, when you were mentioning that to do with the PlayStation Two, I thought, well, chances are you're going to be okay with that fact for the Game yes. Boy then. So, yeah, I've never heard anything about Tetris as a fact. So, yeah, there we go. Lovely. All right. Yeah. Lovely. So we're left with well, the it... Switch. Yes, indeed. I've got one next to me, but I won't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Thing one. It has yes. outsold the Xbox One. Okay. Worldwide. Um, right. Okay. It was designed to coexist with handheld devices and not replace them. Okay. And it is the first home console, not counting handheld stuff here, just actual yeah. proper home consoles. Plug, in, um, plug into the telly consoles. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> First home console since 1997 not to use any form of a disc for game distribution. Right, okay. Hmm. I'm just thinking of all consoles that might... Like... Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, all right, we had cartridges, then we went to discs. Yes. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm fairly confident that that one's true. And I think it was designed to coexist... Because they're still releasing 3DS titles. And the first one sold more than Xbox One. It's Out outsold Xbox One. Yeah, right. outsold the Xbox One worldwide. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to open up the page and cheat because you'll see the reflection in my glasses. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> and I'm not a cheater. I don't like that. So, uh, I, I don't think it has... I don't know, but I will be looking up to see how many it sold. I reckon it's about 50 million. I Well, I can tell you from what I found afterwards. Yeah, okay. One way or the other. I'm going to say that's... Oh, I'm going to be really annoyed and get this wrong now. <laughs> I'm going to say that's the false one and the others are true. What, you think it... Uh, the coexist with the handheld devices and the first home console for uh, not to have discs... Since 97. They're both correct, yeah. yeah? Yeah. He certainly does know his Nintendo, because he's Yay. correct on that one. <laughs> According to the figures I found, bearing in mind there was a four-year gap between release dates... Yes. The yeah. Xbox One has sold 41 million copies worldwide, okay. and the Switch has sold 32 million. Oh, okay. That's not bad, as far as I'm concerned. That isn't bad at all. Nine million difference <laughs> in four years... That's that really isn't bad no. whatsoever. <laughs> no, it's been and out it, what two years? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. I reckon just coming up to two years. Yeah, yeah, must be. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. People should buy one now. Yes, everyone <laughs> should buy one. Yeah, and use it all the time. Indeed. Yes. Oh, okay then. So well, there we go. I got two out of five, and they were both Nintendo, so I'm all right with that. <laughs> Fans of the channel, I'm still a Nintendo guy. <laughs> you definitely are out of the two of us, the Nintendo guy, yes. I'll take that. Cool. Oh, brilliant, lovely stuff. All right, we, yeah, do that again. <laughs> do another one of them at some point. Well, presu fun. Presumably with different consoles, yeah? <laughs> what you can do, yeah. I'll do exactly, <laughs> exactly the same consoles with exactly the same facts and see if you can remember yes. them. <laughs> Memory test. <laughs> oh, okay, then, lovely. Well... Oh. Seeing as we spoke about the Switch, I'm going to move on to that. Okay. And I think for the third time in a row, not specifically solely talk about Pokemon. Oh. I know. I'm just basically going to talk through 
my experiences with Yoshi's Crafted World. Ooh, nice. And basically, just what I think of the game, basically. I was thinking of doing a review video, and I might do, but seeing as it's still fresh in my head, and I've actually not really got halfway through the game yet, I've only really played about three sort of world level y type bits. Mm hmm. Because I think you get like different lands, and you can have a couple of levels in those, and then you can move on to the next bit, etc., etc. Oh, and I've okay, only really, yeah. yeah, I've only really done three of those. But it's fantastic, really. Basically, <laughs> um, it's I'm I like games where you have, you know you have to get all the things, and there's lots of different things. If that makes any sense. So you yes um, yeah. Sort of like Breath of the Wild, where you can get Korok seeds, you can get weapons, you can get, you know, any kind of items, you can get clothing, you know, collecting mm -hmm. the spirit orbs, etc. There's, there's loads. It's not quite that scale, you know, it hasn't like got 900 things to collect. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's basically you go through a level trying to get the flowers of the level. There's usually somewhere between five and seven. And you can like throw your eggs at bits and sealing a flower or you do certain little timed bits within the level and to try and earn the flower and they're like just little sunflowers with a face on they're quite cute actually it's quite nice mm. so you can get those as well as that you can you have to try and get 20 of the red coins in the entire level for another flower <laughs> okay as well as finishing with full health which is 20 hearts out, you know, you get another flower for having twenty out of twenty hearts at the end of a level, and that's pretty. It's that can be a challenge sometimes because if you're near the end and you get hit by something, you think, "Oh, well, I'm gonna have to go back now and find some, <laughs> find some hearts and recover myself and go back to it." Yeah, it's it's quite interesting. Do the hearts replenish themselves? When you go past checkpoints, they do. You, I think, you get five hearts. Oh, okay. So you so, can pass yeah. through that checkpoint again. Hopefully. I haven't tried doing that yet. Oh, okay. But there are Just thinking like... if you get right to the end of a level and then you're kind of screwed. Yeah, well, there are certain boxes where you, you can hit them with an egg and like some hearts fall out of the box. So if you leave those and always go back, you can get some of them. It's quite helpful. Oh, okay, yeah. So if you're yeah. on full health, intentionally ignore them. Yeah, right. exactly right, yeah. Uh, and I must just say the actual art style of the game. I know it's called Crafted World, but it is literally made like the entire thing is made out of like cardboard boxes and like mm. little tubes and bottle caps and things. And it's it's really good to look at. And everything you know, everything's drawn in with like pencil style and coloured in pens. And the trees in the background are actually like bits of cardboard with green colouring on them. You know, yeah. it's. It sounds really basic, but if anyone's listening, have a quick look at the just the you know a few screenshots. It's it's really good. Yeah, and like the, there's some flying things you can hit with eggs that are hanging down on bits of string. You know things like that. It's it does add a bit of a difference. It sort of reminds me of Little Big Planet. You know, it, in that yes, sort of style. Yes, very much. Yeah, it's quite similar to that, isn't it? In terms yeah. of art style. Which is a game I actually really enjoyed. And partly for Stephen Fry's narration. I mean, that's <laughs> incredible. You know. But um, yeah, and it's I, I would thoroughly recommend it to people. You can play as any of the colour Yoshis. I think there's eight to choose from. But you know, ironically, my favourite colour is green, so I'm just playing with the standard Yoshi. And oh, I'm Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's so it is really fun because they um, once you finish the level, you can do the flip side, and basically yes. you start from the other end, but the entire level also flips one eighty. So, when you've first done the game from left to right, you then go back to it on the flip side, still go to left to right, but the actual level was flipped around and there's a whole other half of artwork on the other side. Yeah, it's not a mirror, is it? It's no. it's almost like a second hidden level, like where you're saying you've got a backdrop of of like these buildings on a cardboard, you see the other side of it. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and there's different things on the other side of it yeah because you've made the uh yeah you've played the uh demo haven't you i have yeah yeah so it's it it it's in keeping with the demo and it's it gets more challenging obviously yeah there's you do get boss levels as well i've only done one. Oh, okay but you know it it was 
interesting. There's certain parts of the level that if you don't do it, like uh, some of the timed ones, if you don't do it first time, then you can't try again. You know, you have to literally finish the level and go back. Oh, and start the level from the beginning again once yeah. you've completed it, yeah. There's one level where you go into like a giant crafted Yoshi and you've got boxing gloves. And basically, you just wheel forward. You're not in, you're not in control of it wheeling forward. It's doing that it on its own. Mm-hmm. And you have to punch things out the way. But jump and punch some things and punch some things in certain time and hold down and do a stronger punch for others. And oh, okay. you, Yeah, you've got to get a certain amount of points. Like, I think it's... 7,000 for one flower, 8,000 for two, and, you know, 9,000 for three. The first time I did it, I got about 4,500. I saw the end, I was like, you need 7,000 at least. I was like, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> you sort of think, I did quite well there. <laughs> yeah, and you're not even uh, halfway to... Yeah, to yeah, the, yeah to it's, it, it was incredible. Uh, but it, uh, that was a frustrating one, but the right level of frustrating, if that makes any sense. Achievable frustra- yeah, frustration. Yeah, you, do, you yeah. don't shout and swear in it yeah <laughs> but sometimes you do think oh for god's sake do and you then, do you, sorry do you need the flowers in order to unlock the next level then yeah well yeah so so unlock the next land like for the fir- oh, okay. between the first and second land there was just some person saying oh i'm really tired i need five hearts to wake myself up uh, five flowers to wake myself up and you just give them five flowers mm. And then, but then that person joins you in that land and you can visit them and they say to you, I've got a task for you and, you know, find five cows. So you go back to one of the levels and you'd go through and find the five crafted cows out of cardboard, painted yep. in, yep. hit them with eggs. And once you've hit five, you go back and you'd be like, I found, you know, found them and he'll give you a, a flower for it, you know, so. Oh, OK, yes. Yeah. So there's like yeah. other side quests within levels. Yeah, as well so there's a lot of replayability within a level exactly you can play it once normally yeah play it again on the flip side to catch the three um poochie pups they're called Mm. and get them to the end of the level within a time limit and then you can play it a third time to find the item that you've been asked to look for Mm, or even a fourth or fifth time depending if it keeps asking you to find things because there's a lot to find oh okay it's just interesting It's, it's a nice little it's great I yeah I've played it a couple of times on the train to work you know it's that sort of thing I I could easily sit there for an hour or two playing it it's nice for an evening yeah if you're a hardcore gamer then maybe not for you but if you're not even if you're a casual gamer if you're interested in casual games then you will really enjoy this one mm. But if you just like first player shooter games and want the want the fanciest thing out there, maybe don't give this one a try. <laughs> to be honest, I think if you're that kind of gamer, I don't think the Switch is right anyway because it doesn't no. have the capability of those awe inspiring landscapes. And I mean, I know Breath of the Wild is huge, but it's still quite cartoony. And yes, definitely. At, at certain times, it's still playing at like thirty FPS, and it's yeah, it's it's clever in what it is but it's not like the most grandiose game and i don't think the switch is designed for that no none of the games that i've seen for it are designed for that and this from what i played of the demo of crafted world fits in perfectly with the you could just do a level as you say on a train yeah and then go cool i'll put that back in my bag and look at it at lunchtime yeah, but that is exactly right. With the replayability, it'd be very easy to kind of go back to these levels for a good couple of hours. Yeah, because it, it's a similar game to Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which I had. But Tropical Freeze was fairly limited in what you can do in one level. Mm. This has got much more going for it. And there were certain bits of Tropical Freeze that were difficult, but slightly too difficult that it did lose that bit of enjoyment you think oh well I can't be bothered to finish that now yeah and then you might not play that game for three days because you know that's your next bit you know that sort of thing whereas this the right level of challenging it might take you a few attempts I mean that Yoshi with the punching genuinely took me all morning to get what I needed but it was worth it and it was it was fun challenging yeah and it was satisfying once you'd done it oh absolutely yeah Mm. 
But it was, and it was also one of those that as soon as you get it, instead of just getting like 9,100, I ended up getting like 10,500 or something because you sort of think, oh, do this. You know. Oh, okay. So it's one of those you just got to kind of, yeah, get the knack for it. And once yeah. you've got the knack once you've for got it, the knack, you're like, like, oh, yeah. it's actually, now I get it. It's quite yeah. easy to achieve what they need me to achieve. It's just learning that. Almost like with, a, with boss fights in games when you've got to kind of work out their weakness. Yeah, that's exactly right. And once you right. have done, it kind of unlocks the whole thing for you. Yeah. Mm. Spot on. Cool. But it's, yeah, and I'd recommend it if anyone's got a Switch and watches. I'd recommend it if you haven't got it already. It is good. Is it still about 50 quid? Yeah. But I think it's about... I got mine on Amazon Prime for £43. Right. Or forty two ninety nine or something. So yeah. I don't know what price it is now. I'll have a quick look while i got my phone here. Not that I'm a professional again, I promise. Googling, Googling live on air. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's have a quick I'm look. I'm guessing it'll be the same <laughs> sort of price. Because it's only been out a few weeks, yes. hasn't it? So. Yeah, my last two searches on Amazon. Oh, it's £40 exactly on Amazon Prime. Oh, OK. Fair enough. Or, you know, delivered Sunday enough. if you buy it now. Yeah, £40. That's actually pretty good for a Switch game. That's not bad. Yeah. But yeah, yeah so that was my bit. Buy the game if you haven't already. It's fun. Yeah. Or at, at the very least, try the demo out. Because I've tried it and I was very intrigued by it. And one of the main reasons I haven't bought it is because I have no money at the moment to be buying games <laughs> with. Yeah. And well, Mario I, I made Kart sure I is kept ahead. Some side for this, and I've done overtime at work, and I've yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, Mario. For me, Mario Kart Eight is still ahead in the list, but again, you already own that as well. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. We'll get that, and if you have Switch Online as well after that, we can have a race. Yes. Against ten other, like you know, eleven-year-old people from Japan who, who will really, absolutely really whoop us for some yeah. reason. Is there any online on Crafty but World? Yeah, uh, I don't know. You can play two-player, but I don't know if you have to be in the same vicinity or not. Oh okay. I haven't figured that one out yet. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um, well, that was it. That's all I've got. Cool. So yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, What's up um, in the coming week? Um, if you, uh, unless you don't want to give stuff away. No. Time. Well, no. I. That was kind of the point of the trailer last week was to give stuff away so that people are having an idea of what's coming up. Um, I've got uh, kind of a free Tuesday, so I have played through a demo of a game, which I won't say what it is until you see the video on Tuesday. So, and again, that's a Switch game. Lovely. Talking of the Switch. I'm not going to play through the entire demo because it was actually a lot longer than I was expecting it to be, but I've picked out a middle chunk that I think kind of shows enough of the game off, so it'll probably be about half an hour of gameplay. Yeah. Of me going through that on the Tuesday. I should look forward to that then. Thursday will be a wrestling based booking video, booking a storyline. Lovely. Through. Um, haven't done one of those for a while. Haven't done one this year, I don't think. Oh, no, I did United States Championship one a um, couple of months ago, but I'm going to try and do them once a month. So that's coming up on Thursday. Okay. And then the further adventures of me and you living in a house on The Sims 3. Next Sunday. Oh, good. Lovely. <laughs> so far, we've moved in. I need to keep up to date in. with that. I so should far share we... that one as well. We've moved in and we've got jobs, but we haven't actually gone anywhere yet. And we've met some of our neighbours, <laughs> so I'm going to see what our first days of work hold for us. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get fired. Yes, indeed. All will be revealed. <laughs> yes. Well, for me, it's just a, a top ten on Tuesday. It's a top, te- top ten musical scores in Pokemon games. Ah, that makes sense with what you were saying to me earlier then. Yeah, With and then Thursday is the Anything Can Happen Thursday, and I haven't quite figured that one out yet. <laughs> oh, okay. So, that last one was yeah, really... I, when, I quite like that last yeah, one. I'm quite, <laughs> I've got a couple of ideas. Yeah, there's a celebrity version of the insult game, so maybe that. Ooh, okay. We'll see. Hmm. But yeah, uh, but in general, that is all from me, really. Okay. Yeah. Well... 
it's all from me as well, I guess. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> all right, well, until next fortnight, TBG and viewers, stroke listeners, oh, yeah, I'll see you all later. See you soon. See you soon. Thank you.